All right, let's get started in modeling our shoe last here. The first thing I want to let you know is that I moved the side backdrop item to the back side or the opposite side of the box that I had in the previous scene. And uh, the reason for this was that uh, being over here, I, I tend to work on uh, footwear models uh, that are with the toe facing the left side of the screen. I don't know why I do, I, I just do it that way. So it's handier for me to have this uh, image plane behind the model so it doesn't interfere with uh, my uh, my view of the model as I'm, as I'm creating it. So uh, that's the only thing I did there. The other thing is I went ahead and named that layer from mesh, changed the name from mesh to last just so we can stay a little bit organized here. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is select the last and I wanna subdivide this. Now, uh, I, I have to be in one of the component modes to subdivide this and uh, I'll click polygons. It really doesn't matter which one you're in. Uh, and you don't need to select anything, by the way, because if nothing is selected, everything is selected. So I'm gonna hit Shift D and that's gonna bring up my subdivide panel here. And uh, subdivide method we'll use is faceted. There's a lot of different methods you can use, but faceted is the one we want, okay. So now we have some uh, geometry we can work with here. Um, and let's see, first thing I'm going to do is uh, start moving stuff around. Um, let's go to the top view first. Let's go grab these polygons and I'm just going to move them down and I'll, I'll explain that uh, a little bit later why I'm doing that. So I'm going to the right view, hit the W key. I'm going to move that right about to there. All right. Now you'll notice right away too, that in the orthographic views, although you can see your image, image planes, uh, they are pretty opaque and if, uh, let's take for example, the uh, side view here, and that's being projected from the right. If I, if I were to go to the left, this is, this is one of those pitfalls a lot of people seem to fall into. If they're in the left view uh, of the orthographic view, the view viewport, they can't see their backdrop item. They, they simply think it's disappeared, but it's not because the projection type is for the right view. So you have to make sure that you're in your right view if you wanna see that. But as you can see, it's kind of occluding the model behind it. It's not allowing us to see that. So the best thing to do is I'm gonna do this to all of my uh, backdrop planes right now, is to just add a little bit of transparency to it. So uh, I'm just gonna type in 50, I'm just gonna add 50% transparency, and I can see my shoe fine, I can see the uh, model just fine in the uh, wireframe as well. So that kind of solves that problem. All right, so let's just start moving some points around. The other thing I'm gonna do, um, going to perspective view, and you'll notice that I'm jumping around a lot between perspective and uh, orthographic views. So I'm just going to move those selected polygons back by hitting the T key to just translate them a little bit back. And yeah. Now I'm going to just go ahead and move this edge. Uh, let's go to the right view and just move that uh, right about there so that this little edge there is right at that part of the shoe. All right. So now uh, let's take another edge here and let's go ahead and double click on that. So I select that whole loop of edges there and bring that right about down to there. So this is right about at the apex. Now we're just blocking in right now. So don't worry about it being really terribly accurate. Okay. Um, now, if I want to select an edge that is parallel to my field of view, um, it's kind of hard. So I want to select this perspective upper edge. Now I can always just go here select on my edges, double click those or click on those and that selects them and jump back over to my right view. But that's kind of a hassle. So what I can do is simply kind of loop select right around there. And when I'm in edge mode, it will select those edges. So now I can just go ahead and just move those around. There we go. And just let's kind of move that up here. In fact, just grab that whole thing right there. There we go. There, select that. Move that up to the, right about there. Again, we're just blocking in. Nothing fancy here. Um, we're going to add more edges as we need them. Uh, let's see. Let me grab this one. In this case, I will um, go into perspective view. And you can just walk around your model here. 
I might have a little trouble seeing this edge, but I know it's there, <laughs> all right? And uh, again, go into the right view and just drop that down a little bit right about there. There we go. As uh, I want to make sure we're going to pick up this line here, and I'll probably move that edge down a little bit later. So here's the other thing. Uh, let's go here and move that down. And Okay, we're blocking in now. And just remember to save your work.